What's going on guys? This is Effect here bringing you guys another video and today, yes, we are past combo breaker. Exceptional play from a lot of the players, GG's, and congrats to Arson Ash for winning Combo Breaker 2023. Getting into a close set with Nii, and that man Nii could not stop that Kuni. That shit was insane. But we are not here for that. That's a whole different story. Today's story, at least for my channel, we haven't done it yet, is we have the Brian Fury game trailer. Okay? Now, this is insane because over that weekend, Brian's trailer happened to get leaked. Which really sucked. And it kind of ruined a lot. I actually got to see it early. And I really didn't want to see it. But I was so intrigued and so curious that, you know, curiosity killed the cat. So I ended up watching it early. Cool trailer. I loved it. Sad it got leaked though. That's all it was. But anyway, we're going to get into this. We're going to break it down. Just see what he has and go through what uh, combination he has. Combos and all that stuff. Now, <laughs> I didn't really get to break it down myself. So we're going to do it now. And I'm still going to be psyched about seeing some of these things. So, obviously, if you hear me screaming, don't worry about it. It's okay. You're going to hear me screaming through your house anyway when I play Tekken 8. So, let's get right into it. This Brian, this Brian is like, really and truly, I didn't really like the outfit. The outfit was very, very lackluster. But it's Brian. So, you know, it's kind of the original from what it looks like. So, make sure like Tekken 3, Tekken 7, you know, just some added things and whatnot. Love that, but it's the original Brian, so I can't say anything. I think the Tekken 7 fit definitely looks better, though, in my personal. Nice, yo, the announcer goes off with this one. Okay, so down forward two, down forward two, one into a stance, and it looks like a mock punch afterwards. Is what I'm assuming. I'm thinking that's a mock punch, right. Yeah, it looks like a monk punch. It looks it looks plus enough to do uh four two. Um, but you know, that's just for, you know, showing off the move and whatnot within the trailer. But we don't know how plus it is, we don't know how minus it is. But it looks safe. And then taunts up and his fists are on fire. After four two one now this is insane because him and Oscar now have the same thing where this taunt comes into play. And they gain something from it. Maybe it's just damage buffs and whatnot. But that's sick on Brian. Holy crap. So sidestep one no longer launches. But he gets a knee follow-up afterwards. Don't know how, you know, plus that is. If it is that plus. Or what other moves you can get. Um, but it's plus and you get that knee right afterwards. Now he does a taunt right after that. And cancels it out, right? For Jack attacking. Cancels out. And gets like down two three combination. Now I'm gonna go back and look at that fully, cause that that was some sick shit. Okay. So it was another four two. There's a knee. Taunt cancels four two and uses the heat engager, I believe, for this one. Four two. Unless it's a taunt setup. Oh, that's insane. Okay, so maybe he gets into taunt. Maybe he gains a string or gains some strings from other strings <laughs> that are normal. Like four, two, one, four is usually this whole entire string. He just gains a whole nother string for that, which is fire. Gets a knee and like a mock punch right after. Cool. Jet upper right after jacks down four, two. That's still minus 14, which means that taunt, jet upper still could be easy, right? It's only 14 frames for a jet upper, so cool. Four, one plus two is now a power crush and it also works within combos cool jab back to okay so back to one four and the kick looks different now because the tail flips now instead of like tail spin so it's a tail flip now so he just kicks all the way up snake dash core circle four two one or no it's either not two. Oh yeah core circle forward two two cool okay okay this is the sick part right so he can eat a hit and deliver a mock punch afterwards I'm not sure what move he was doing. I'm trying to see what move he was doing. Okay, so he did like an early startup of 4-2. Four, four, and Jack happened to hit him like right on frame, it looks like. And he ate the hit and delivers a mock punch back. And I'm, I'm sure it hits harder and you eat damage for it, obviously. And he gets put to the wall here. Wall explodes. Full combo here. So, th <laughs> that's awesome. 3-3-2, three, three, which is a launcher in Tekken 7. And, and all the other Tekkens for Brian is now a tail flip as well. So that's cool. And a new machine gun punches. That's so sick. The down for one series has a knee now. 
instead of a punch and it looks it has a whole different animation which is so sick i love the new animation ta cha 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 fire yeah this is tekken 6 stuff right here so this stuff right here is, is crazy if you if you play tekken 6 you know what this, this whole entire thing is about back one completely launches and flips them around down three plus four two is now a tail flip as well it's heat smash i'm guessing like um if you down one plus two in tekken 7 is like a little uh i, I don't know really what to call it but it also sets up like a uh a, a soccer kick as well but he also has like a punch that you can load up afterwards uh it's like down what, what is it like down one plus two two immediately you press two and it does like a, a heavy punch that's what that heat smash looks like nice three three two or three three four i should say okay so that's a new move side step two it looks like another two or one and that's a heat engager and then he does a ton right afterwards so it's so the thing about it was from what i was hearing about this is just a guess for a lot of other characters right when they get out of that uh that heat engager or heat push i don't know what to really call it i'll just call it the heat engager uh when they start off that heat engager off a certain move and they push him back and they run forward it's actually just a mix but for brian because taunt <laughs> isn't basically an unblockable uh this man is gonna get something guaranteed afterwards if you're just good at execution because you can move after this actually but that's so sick i want to go back and look at that taunt knee and that's gear that's all guaranteed and it probably does a lot of damage taunt down back one plus two heat engager at the wall three plus four and like a, a hard hitting two that wall splats jet upper to re wall splat down four two one and his two is not to his new stance core circle back four mock punch and a heat dash Let's go back. That's it. Nice. I don't know what that new move is within that combo. So four, four, two, heat dash, back three. I'm guessing that's like back three, two, three or something like that. I'm looking at the right knee. Let's see. Four. Okay. Two, four, and then uh, double knees into four, four, two. Muff punch, counter hit, launcher into his rage art. And I love this rage art. It's so sick. It fits him so well. That's so sick. Machine guns. Love the new voice actor as well for him. Great stuff. Okay. So I would say this this seems like each time we get a trailer, it's taken down a couple of notches. I think this one's a little bit better than like Shao Yu's and a couple others. Haring was pretty good. I think this one stepped it up just a tad bit. Um, but it seemed like the first few characters just like exploded and like it was like insane to see, right? Now we're kind of getting to the lack the lackluster characters who don't have too much flair within their gameplay. I think Brian does. And they definitely showed it. Um, but there's going to be a lot of characters where this is not going to be as flashy or a lot of stigma with it or, you know, just just a lot of things are not going to fit them. I think the the best one so far for me, obviously, King, Jack, Kazuya, um, Jin was all right, and Jun was really, really good. Um, but I'm waiting on characters like Yoshi. Like, how is Yoshi going to look? Yoshi also has, like, that flair that we all want to see and, like, he has some cool shit. You know, Safina, same thing, Kunimitsu, all these new characters that came into the game. Lydia, I think, is also going to be probably cool. Um, I didn't really like Leroy. I'm just saying it now. I think Leroy looks exactly the same. <laughs> but uh, Lydia would probably look cool. Like, there's a lot of things that are going to happen within the Tekken 8 trailer, you know, drops and whatnot. And I'm look, I'm kind of excited to see him. So, I want to see some new characters. I want to see some, you know, unexpected characters like Bruce or something. Who knows? And maybe Josie might not, might not come back. Who knows? But anyway, I'm going to leave you guys there until the next trailer i will be at ceo this month so if i'm not making any trailers i'm probably living it <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next one peace out